The Story of Christmas Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many ways through prophets like Isaiah. A child will be born from the family of David who will be holy. And John the Baptist. Prepare the way. God also spoke through angels to people like Zechariah. You and Elizabeth will have a son named John. And to Mary. You and Joseph will raise a son named Jesus. On the first Christmas, Joseph, who was from the family of David, traveled with Mary to Bethlehem, the city of David, while Mary was pregnant with Jesus. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, there was no room for them in the inn. No, we're full. So Mary gave birth to their son Jesus in a stable and laid Jesus in a manger. Close by, there were shepherds in the field watching their sheep. An angel appeared to them saying, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy for everyone because today Jesus has been born. And suddenly other angels appeared, praising God and saying, Glory to God! When the angels left, the shepherds hurried to Bethlehem to meet Jesus. Far away, Magi from the east saw a bright star rising in the sky. They followed the star until it stopped over the spot where Jesus was. Overjoyed to meet Jesus, the Magi opened their treasure chests and offered gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The story of Christmas continues with us. Just as God spoke through prophets like Isaiah and John, and people like Zechariah and Mary, God also speaks to us now. And just like the Magi, we offer gifts to Jesus and share the gifts that Jesus brings. Gifts of hope, peace, joy and love with others to create a better world. Glory to God, peace on earth, and goodwill to all people.